Joshua Jackson and Christine Co. Give it up. <laughs> Military service members sacrifice so much, especially time with their families. Uh, that includes holidays, anniversaries, gatherings, but probably the hardest is the birth of a child. Each year, countless military parents are not in the delivery room when their baby is born. It's a sacrifice that none of us should ever forget. Fortunately, there's an organization called Operation Shower that works with these families so they don't feel so alone. Here to talk about it is Leanne, the founder of Operation Shower. Give it up for Leanne, y'all. <laughs> Meet Joshua and Christine. Hi. So you work with pregnant military mamas, right? So tell us right. how the, about your organization. How does it work? Sure. So Operation Shower, yeah, thank you so much for having us. Um, we host military moms-to-be, expectant families, to these large group baby showers. And we do focus on those families who are deployed or separated due to extended training, all different types of separation. Mm -hmm. And so Operation Shower brings them together to help them celebrate these babies on the way. Yeah. And um, that's what we do. We host these great baby showers with lots of gifts. We give what we call a shower in a box to every mom so they get everything they would want at their own personal baby shower. Yeah. And the baby showers are themed kind of depending upon the location and the venue and kind of just, you know, really go all out so that they have special. Uh, yeah, they feel loved and they know that they're not alone during this time. Yeah. yeah. That, would, that would be really sad to not to not be there for that. So you, right. your, your own family made these sacrifices, is that right? Right, yeah, so my mom, years ago, uh, I was born on a military base in Germany. So obviously she was separated from family and friends back home here in the States. And mm -hmm. we never really talked about that, but I know that that must have been really hard. But yeah. more recently, my uncle was deployed when his son was born and he missed the first six months of you know <sighs> my cousin's life. And then as far as you know being there present and just talking with him about how so many military families go through this and are Separated during these really significant moments like childbirth. And, and important. Yeah. yeah, and really important and really monumental to these families. And so in talking with him, that's when I knew that was something I could help with and do. And so that's how Operation Shower was born. And we yeah. honored these families and um, we get them together with other moms-to-be as well. That's incredible. I can't, like you, you have a little girl. Can you imagine the first six months not seeing, like that's, no, truly. that's I, crazy. I, I, yeah, I can't. Uh, that what a sacrifice to that miss is. Miss the moment and to miss all yeah. that magical time in the beginning for the mom and the dad. Yeah, you know, not to have the man present there and for the dad to not be able to share that moment with his wife. That's I think it's amazing that you're you're doing. Yeah, this. incredible. Yeah, there's so many families that go through that for sure. Yeah, that's hard, and to make them feel special is such a thing that people don't yeah. think of. So it's amazing that the organization does. So Operation Shower also connects, like you said, moms with other moms, right? Right. No, yeah, that's which is a important big to have that network of right? our mission. Right. We want them to know again that they're not alone. And so yeah. when they walk into the room, you know, the shower's all ready for them. But there's other moms just like them who are going through the same thing, and yeah. they're able to talk with them at their table and share stories. And we really hope, you know, one of our goals is they. They meet somebody, they find a friend there, and they can continue that connection beyond just that event. That's a really big goal it's of ours. Probably hard to talk to people that don't know what it feels like, you know? Right, so that's, right. that's awesome to find people that are like minded and have similar situations going on. Right. Um, well, Christy, you spent a lot of time away from your, your, your birth family, right? So, like, mm -hmm. it was important probably to have that support, you know, yeah. when you didn't have them there. Absolutely. I think what you said is just to not feel alone. And there's so many things like friends and uncles and just people in your community that show you that love. We were talking about love is love. Yeah. And in that moment, when you feel like you have a support system, that's what you really need, you know? And yeah. I think it's so beautiful what you guys are doing. Then you can really flourish yeah right. one of her recipients is Kelly a military mama of three so have you ever met Kelly um, I think so. I mean, yeah. but through the shower, I yeah. met, we met at a virtual shower. Um, oh, right Because on. during the um, well, as we pandemic, all did in, yeah, of course, COVID, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't able Have to get them together. Have you met her with together. pants on? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was wearing pants. <laughs> Just virtually so far. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Well, we have a little surprise. So um, Kelly, uh, will you come on out? <laughs> <laughs> Wanted the surprise, so we. So yes. you were 20 weeks pregnant when your husband had to leave. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 
what was that? I mean, that yeah. had to feel pretty lonely, like going through something yeah. that's so huge and monumental in your life. Yeah, it was rough. It was rough. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he's in the army and he got called back when COVID kind of shut everything else down. Mm. And I was at home with um, my two and a half year old almost at the time. And that was hard, you know, trying to explain to her why we couldn't see daddy, why he couldn't come home yeah. and all those things. Um, it was isolating, you know, as we all were at the time. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was challenging. It was a rough time. Even more isolating like that he is. Gone. Yeah. 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 Um, well, what happened when you connected with Operation Shower? How did that help? So um, one of the wives in my husband's unit invited me to a shower and yeah. I got this box in the mail. And as the shower got closer, it was in May, and it was right before Mother's Day. It was right before my birthday, our wedding anniversary. I hadn't talked to my husband, because he was on a training, and we had no communication. Yeah. So it was rough, and I really didn't want to celebrate. But I had the box yeah. already, so I was like, I guess I should go. <laughs> um, so I went, and I'm so, so glad I did, because as soon as I logged into the Zoom, here's this you know, computer screen of 20 women who are going through the exact same thing. Yeah. And I immediately just felt connected to them. I didn't yeah. know their names, I didn't know who they were, but I knew we were all pregnant with some with or without our husbands. Yeah. And we we're all just going through this crazy time together, you know, yeah. even apart. It was so much fun and I never thought I'd have that much fun in a time like that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's when you needed it most. Yeah, That's beautiful. For sure. Well, you got another surprise, but it wasn't from Operation Shower. So what yeah. was it? Um, so we weren't sure about my husband coming home for the birth, but he made it two days before she appeared. Two days. <laughs> two days. That's incredible. Yeah. Oh. Yep. oh. <laughs> Little Amelia. I love that blanket. Thank you. Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> Little Amelia. Amelia. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So, and that yeah. doesn't happen for everyone, right? Not everybody right. gets to get no, home no. for no. that special. Yeah. Oh, I can't imagine. Well, we've got one more surprise um, for you, Leanne. We reached out to our friends at HEB who have long supported military families. Thank you so much for that, HEB. And in fact, they've worked with Operation Shower before to host dozens of baby showers. Yes. They want to see more military families celebrate these important milestones. So they're giving Operation Shower $25,000 just to oh help out with anything. <laughs> It's already hard, you know? It's such a, a trip emotionally, and to have all that extra stuff like yeah. handed on top of it, I can't imagine. Yeah. So I'm, gl I'm glad you found, you know, other people that you communicate yeah. with and, and you are like-minded. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know if like, you'll ever, you know, realize the impact you've had just in my life in the last three years. And I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart and every showered mom out there. Just thank you for everything you do. And, mm -hmm. I cannot wait to help you continue and shower other moms. It's just Aww. Aww. Paying it forward. I like it.